welcome back to Miss Survival, episode 5. Okay, today we are going to try to get some of the necessities. We need some way to cook, and we need some way to get water. Because don't want to try to depend on strictly trying to find cokes and eating fruit <laughs> salad, so... Okay, first thing we're going to do, let's see, uh, the grill stand. Okay, we're going to put that on there. Get that built. Yeah, let's see, we need, we need scrap metal and toolkits. Let's see. Not in there. And we need logs too, I think it was. We got our scrap metal and toolkits. And let's go take a peek again. Oh no, it's just toolkits and scrap metal. And we need our hammer, which we've got. Okay. Now I know we've got some of the bear meat that we had gotten last time we were out. them in this upper slots yeah the bottom slots for charcoal as the fire burns let's see fruit salad because we are a little bit short on we need for thirst gonna organize a little bit of this in these cabinets it's kind of nice having these cabinets here because don't have to depend strictly on building our own. This MR, MRE or MRI or what? MRE, I think it's called. It's the, oh, wait a minute. Why'd that go out? Need to get this stuff put away so I can have some room. Firewood, I think. I'll leave that open just in case if I need to run back. Some blueberries, it's good. Oh, let's see, what else? I think it's bark for kindling. We're going to need that too. And bark comes out of trees as you chop. So now that we got our axe back, we can actually harvest some more wood. That'll be nice once we rescue somebody because then they will do the, what is this, uh, the one of the guys that you can rescue will do the f wood cutting for you so we don't have to do it ourselves, which that's one of the most time-consuming things is the is the chopping of the firewood, or not to just the, the logs in general for building, especially when we start building our wall around the around the house. It's going to take a lot of logs. sticks that's good and we'll grab some of these because we're gonna need the leaves and there's okay there's our bark and the leaves we're gonna need for building twine I really don't know how leaves make rope but oh well <laughs> it's the way it is I guess I might close the gate nice thing is with the gate there even if we forget to close the door it will still be protecting if a uh, mist comes in. Okay, got our tendered. Yeah, for some reason I, when I was filming, I could not 
remember for some reason to that I needed to add firewood. So my campfire kept going out on me, and then I realized that hey, you need you need fuel in there. <laughs> it's uh, it's been quite a while since I played. Yeah, yep. See the fire went out again, so what I'm gonna have to do is get out and. get some firewood. I've got wood there and you can't do just straight wood. It's got to be the firewood. So that's what over here we set up this stump so we can make firewood. So we'll grab a couple logs we had set over the side and we can make our firewood in here. Okay, now we got firewood so the fire will keep burning. I learned another lesson while adding wood to this fire also. So if you're looking to build your fire, you're going to need matches, tinder, and you can use an accelerant too, which is the melted uh, fat. And when you, I learned this the hard way, where once you ignite it, and it starts burning, one stack of eight is all you have to use. If you add more, which I had done, I added those other stacks of eight, and it didn't add any time to the fire. So save your firewood, put a stack of eight in there, and that'll do it. Okay, our meat's done. So we got some food. The problem is, is now we don't really have anything for, for water-wise for our thirst, so... And I think you can put the fire out to save on the wood, but you have to use water to do that. And right now I'm kind of hurting for liquids to, I'm not going to use it on putting out a fire. It'll burn itself out. And now that I know that you can only, you only need to use eight firewood and it only gives you that amount of time. I'll have more logs. I'll make more logs into firewood. And Okay, now we need to find something to store water. There's the water purifier and then this is the water tank. You can either put clean or dirty water in here and I like to take once I get the truck up and running I like to put one of those in the back of the truck drive it over to the lake and then fill buckets and just fill it so you can haul the whole thing and then you can take it out of the truck and set it back in the house and then you fill your water distiller. I'd like to have two of those. I'm going to make another one probably in one of the next episodes. So I have one for dirty water and one for clean water. The clean water one's a good one because then you have your water bottles that you can carry with you and then just refill the water bottles at the tank there. The next episode's going to be a lot of a, a, quite a bit of a step forward because I had filmed for about 40 minutes and right as I was getting ready to stop recording to save to end the episode the, the program that I used for capture crashed and I lost the whole clip so I'm gonna be a little bit farther advanced in the next episode but I'll try to make sure I can find, go out and I'll do a little more exploring again and uh, get some more action. I had gotten surrounded by zombies and I had fought a bear and I, <laughs> it was a whole bunch of stuff that happened in that episode that unfortunately got lost with the crash. So I, I didn't, didn't do too much exploring of the, it was more exploring the camps around the motel so what I'll do is I'll probably do more uh, exploring of the, the gas station because that usually has a lot of auto parts, uh, the cars around it, at least last time I played. Okay, we're getting our crowbar. This will be good because inside the houses, they uh, have a room that needs either a crowbar or a lockpick. Lockpick, I need to upgrade the 
workbench. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over here and grab... I've, pre I've got two of those gears. So I'm going to grab those and eat these blueberries because that'll... Because I'm running really short on liquid. Uh, I think I'm going to eat this too because... I am... It's going to replenish. I will eat that eventually because it'll replenish my my thirst and I have no more water. I built that bucket so I can use that to ga gather water. Okay, let's see. We need gears, log or um, lumber and scrap metal. Scrap some scrap. Where we got the logs, or the the plywood, not the logs. We'll go grab some logs because we need logs to make the the boards that we need to upgrade that workbench. Because I want to get that lockpick because it's quieter. So if anything's coming after you, or you know, and you're trying to more stealthily get in somewhere the lockpick's going to be a better choice than the crowbar because the crowbar makes a lot of noise. Let's build some law, some lumber. There hasn't been a, a mist for a while. Which I have a feeling it's going to start getting more mist. Okay, got that upgraded. Now we can do the lockpick and the animal trap. I haven't tried the animal trap yet. Let me know if you've tried the animal trap and if it works. I know that car jack is good for if you need to move the car. Got guns, we got our arrows, so fire arrows, cool. Sniper rifle, or hunting rifle. Usually I get that out of one of the camps, but with my last uh, attempt at going into a camp, it wasn't very successful. Okay, we got nails, matches, a chain. Not sure exactly what the chain is for. Yeah, see, I, I'm really thirsty and I have no other means of getting water yet so I'm gonna eat that the MRI MRE MRE and that so that replenished all my uh, thirst and my hunger so that's good okay I close I'm gonna run down to the lake real quick because I've got that bucket. Can't put it in your left hand. Uh, let's see, okay, we'll put it with the where the spear was. And then you scoop and run back to the house. Okay, we're gonna add it to the tank. So now what we got to do is we need to build the distiller so it'll purify the water so it's not dirty anymore. Okay, let's see. It's, it's okay, there it is. Water pure DIY water purifier. Let's set it here. Okay. Okay, we used our bucket Scrap metal, stone. Okay, we need to gather some stones and some firewood. The firewood, I think, is just because that's what... I don't think you have to put more firewood in. So once you put it in, I'm pretty sure, at least that it, unless it changed. Grab some logs. Go ground, grab some stones, which we need for that. Can't remember exactly how many we needed, so I'm just gonna grab a bunch, seeing they're around.
1557. And it doesn't really get dark until right around 1900 hours, I think it is. So still got a little bit of time. Get our firewood built. Okay, should be able to get this completed. Nice. Okay, now we're going to need to build another bucket to transport the water from either from the tank or from the lake. We need, okay, we need matches and tinder. Okay, we need matches, tinder, and firewood in our in our inventory. We don't need to put it in it, but it needs to be in our inventory to light that. Okay, we need, I think we need scrap metal or toolkits. I'll have to go and take a look what exactly we need for the buckets. Buckets. Oh, okay, we need scrap and tool buckets. I'd like to get two buckets. The last time I played, I think I had six buckets. <laughs> so I could have just fill up my inventory and fill them all, and then it was easier to transport it, you know, to the back of the truck because I left the tank in the truck when I drove it over to the lake. Okay, we set some of those in the in the workbench inventory. Now we got two buckets. We're going to take a run down to the lake with those two buckets. We'll put them in our hands. Don't need the gun in our hand right now because we don't have any bullets. <laughs> right to the lake. <laughs> nice thing is the lake's pretty close. When I was set up in that little cabin in the middle of the woods, I had to drive quite a ways to get to the lake. Okay, now add the water to the to the distiller. And you got to put it up to takes 10 liters at one shot and I think it holds 16 altogether let's see try 10 see what it takes yeah it's like 16 so this bucket still got a little bit of water left in it and there's still the water in the main tank that I had put in there previously so what we can do is take the water out of here because we're going to want this for holding the clean water and we'll keep the dirty water in the buckets right now. We're going to set the bucket next to it and when you drop you can see the water in, the, in there and that one too, the dirty water inside the bucket. We'll put them both over here. That way when the water runs out you can only put 16 and then you have to let it all distill you can't keep adding water to it okay it's distilling we're gonna grab our water bottle which we had found got a little bit of water in there which is great because we're gonna need a little to drink especially before we go to bed because as the night goes on, as long as we make it through the night without getting woke up, your thirst and hunger go down as you sleep. Okay, let's see how long we can go without getting woke up. Set it for 10 hours. Let's go. Oh, no. Usually right around 1 o'clock, that's when they something wake, usually wakes you up. But I'm not going to go exploring dark I'm just gonna try to sleep for a couple more hours to get back to the daylight okay we made it to the, through the night let's go down and see how our water's doing 
Okay, let's drink. Let's get this filled up. The water only bo only holds two liters, it looks like. So I was going to try to add more water, but see, it does not allow you to add more water until that's completely distilled. So even we might even build a second distiller so we can have... I would rather not be concerned about going thirsty. And then we've got this meat, which uh, in hindsight I probably should have uh, ate the meat and then drank the water, because when you eat the meat, it takes your thirst down. So, Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed episode 5. I'll get working on episode 6 as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Remember to subscribe.